All right, there we go. Happy Friday, everybody. I am so excited about today's project. I can't even wait. I'll give you some time to find me, say hello when you get in here. Let me know that you see me, that you hear me. Uh, there I am on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. And how about YouTube? There I am on YouTube. It even makes me watch an ad, you guys. I gotta play their game though, otherwise they don't show me to anybody. Hey, Tanya, I'm glad you're here. All right, rock and roll. And, oh my goodness, come on YouTube. Everybody there? Hey YouTube, all right, I found me on YouTube. Hey Mimi, Christina, Beck, I'm glad you guys are here. I feel like I haven't seen you in a very long time, my friend Beck, how are you? All right, this is exciting. I'm really excited, you guys. I've got a two for one for you today. All right, let me find my mouse, get switch in my view. All right, I got a couple of places to see comments here. How are you guys? Happy Friday, it's almost the weekend. Almost the weekend, I'm ready. Hey, Tony, thank you for sharing, my friend. Hi, Carol, how are you? All right, this is what we're making today. And But before we get started, I'm gonna just show you guys a couple of fun things. I've got the Latte Love bundle here. This is brand new in the online exclusives. You can bundle it up with the Latte Love dies, which we're gonna cut like everything today because we're making two cards at once. And so this is online exclusive, brand new products. Hey, Tina, happy Friday. Tina says, love those cards. Why, thank you, my friend. And let's see, good morning, Martha. Hey, Gian. Gia says, hello from YouTube, peeps. <laughs> I love that. Hi, Nancy. Nancy says, greetings to all from cold and rainy Wheaton. Yep, I've got my coat on, Nancy. <laughs> I'm cold. All right, so that's a latte love. And it is online exclusive. We're also going to use my lovely, I haven't used this at all yet. This is pecan pie center stripe ribbon this is another online exclusive and it's not the one that goes with this suite but i wanted to just point it out and it looks so lovely with the designer series paper a little latte is the designer series paper and i'll show you that one while we're waiting for everybody to find us ha! jackie says greetings in return from cold and rainy carpentersville oh man tell me about it right okay now Hi, Jan. Happy Friday, everyone. Jan says, happy Friday. Hey, Jan says, hi, Nancy. Hi, Tina. I love that. I love that you guys know and greet each other. That's lovely. All right. This is the Little Latte Designer Series Paper, another online exclusive. These were all just available on the 5th of March, so brand new for customers. Let me show you a side. B side has a little cups on a white background, and then A side and B side, and then another one, a nice swirl. I love this one. A splat, coffee splat, and then Lost Lagoon Stripe. Uh, this is the pattern I'm using today. And then mugs. Now the dies cut these mugs, which is pretty awesome. And the dies cut these coffee beans, which is pretty awesome too. I'm gonna stamp some today, so you've got options. You can cut from the paper, little beans, big beans. See that? All right, so that. And then, oh, you know, let me flip back to this one for a minute. So you can also take the circle die that comes in the set and you can cut just the coffee designs out in case you wanna put those in your stamped cups. 
All right, so there's that. It's nice coordination between these with the dies. Let's see. I think that's our only coordination here. And then these mugs are fun. These are fussy cut. They don't match up with the mug die, but they're not terribly difficult to fussy cut. It's just not quite right for any of the mugs, but they're really cute. Fussy cut and put on cards and projects. So that is a latte, a little latte, designer's shoes paper. Hey Marie, I'm glad you're here, my friend. Here's what we're gonna make today. Hey Teresa, Martha, I said hi, right? I got your good morning, didn't I? Teresa says, I'm currently finishing up cow pen pockets with Marissa's template. Yay, share on the craft social when you get them done. That's exciting. Oh, I bet they're adorable. <laughs> Nancy says, no open windows today. Oh, yesterday we did our VIP mini retreat, you guys. So um, I had a incentive for customers or team members who would place an order at the end of celebration to come and join me for a mini retreat. So we stayed for almost four hours yesterday, maybe three, little, between three and a half and four hours yesterday. And Nancy had the heat on and the windows open. Not today, huh, Nancy? I hope that you guys had a really good time. If you were there yesterday and you had a good time, please let people know that you enjoyed it. Let me show you what we made because now the PDF for those classes or for those two Stampa Stacks is available today. If you're interested in getting the Stampa Stacks that we did, uh, we did the Jungle Pails Stampa Stack and the Watercolor Melon Stampa Stack. And this is the PDF that's available today at kitchentablestamper.com. You can go slash shop and then filter for PDFs if you wanna get there quick. So two new Stampa Stacks, you can do like I do and print the PDF class or you can just store it on your device. Full color photos, step-by-step um, -step instructions, supply list, everything you need is here. The other thing that I wanna point out is the watercolor melon is the only place to get Wonder Recipe number 26 right now. So brand new Wonder Recipe. I include the, the diagrams that you need. It's a really um, very thorough uh, card class PDF form and they're both available today. $9.99 for the class. And you can print it or store it. These are the the cards in person. This is what we did in the VIP retreat. It seemed to be a wonderful success. We all had so much fun. We made this many cards. This is the cards that those PDFs make. And I will definitely be doing it again. So look out for your opportunity. Thank you to everybody who placed an order and my Stampin' Up! store. You really did make a difference. We did beat celebration sales and it's thanks to you. So those two classes are available by PDF. The mini retreat was only for those who helped me over my goal, but you can definitely get in on the card class now. All right. Desi, what are you doing here? Hi, Des. Desi, hi. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here, but you made me smile, kid. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Kathy says she really enjoyed yesterday. Good. Uh, Nancy says, still working on my jungle pals. Lots of die cutting. It is lots of die cutting. I really did. Um, uh, what did I do with that? Highlight that die set, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Veronica, I'm glad you're here. Melissa says, catching you live today at lunch. I'm in Tennessee. Hey, Melissa. All right, let's see. I'm going to just go one more time, peek at the comments at YouTube. All right, we're pretty quiet over there. Let's get... Let's get started here. Okay, so this is Donna Hickok's two-for-one card. You guys, if you are not members in the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social, what are you waiting for? I gotta show you my screen really quick because I was so inspired. Let me see what I got here before I flip over there. Yep, that's what I wanna show you. Um, this is Donna's two for one card and we're going to do our card fronts, both cards with one six by six designer series paper. We're gonna do them at the same time, which is going to you know save, save time, give us two designs in once. And it's totally um, inspired by Donna, my friend Donna, my, my crafty friend from the 
from the kitchen table stamp or craft social Donna all right let me show you this one you should be looking at the craft social here if you guys are not familiar with the craft social kitchen table stamp or craft social on Facebook it's our little corner of Facebook we have an amazing group of creative kind warm welcoming crafters and I'm just gonna bring your attention here to the featured bar and this is Donna's two-for-one card that inspired mine. So Donna shared that two cards with one piece of six by six designer series paper. I cut it at four inches, use the remaining two for the card, and here it is. Isn't this gorgeous? So thank you so much, Donna, for the inspiration. We are doing your two for one card today. All right, so there's Donna's, and if you're looking for that, it is pinned in the featured section, Craft Social members, and I challenge you to give it a try. And if you do, add pictures of your two-for-one card right on the comments in Donna's, and let's encourage her for sharing. We've also got um, in our featured section links right to the um, watercolor melon and jungle pails. Don't forget, so if you want those PDFs, you can go right from there. Don't forget our weekly game. We're playing Connect Four in the Craft Social. Any spring project, Connect Four, either horizontal, vertical, diagonal, four corners, or postage stamp. Take those four items, make a project, and then share in the comments. You'll see that we've already got some, some uh, um, great projects here. Take a look at. I love how Tony prints the, the board and knocks off which one she did that always makes me happy and so please come play connect four with us you can play the game anytime but we have prizes if you play um on or before tuesday march 12th if you share on or before tuesday march 12th you'll be considered for prize patrol and then um that's it i think that's what i wanted to show you in the featured all right you guys so come and check out the craft social make some two for one cards, come play the Connect Four. And yeah, we would just love to, we'd love to see you there. All right, so let's get started with our project because I got a little bit of um, stamping and die cutting to do because we're doing two cards at once. <laughs> Desi says, I love that you can share your screen now. That's still so cool. Now we just have to get you a uh, face cam, right? I would love that so much so I can look at everybody. Hey, Mary. Mary says, love the cards. Well, thank you. I totally um, was inspired by our friend Donna. I hope that she'll join us or see us on the replay. But um, yeah, let's see how about, how's my, how's my YouTube's doing? YouTube's, I'm having slow comments. Let me look one other place and I gotta cut my paper then. I can see some YouTube's here. There we go. Good morning, Martha. Uh, Teresa says, hello, Marissa and all. Happy Friday, Tina. I'm glad you're here. Mimi said, I don't like the coffee, but these are super cute. Oh, thank you. You don't like coffee at all, huh? Um, I'm going to make a hot cocoa box with it because I think that this one could be cocoa just as easy. So maybe a cocoa box, Amy? You, you tell me what you think. All right, so let's get started really quick. We're gonna cut our paper. It's simple for this one. It's a two for one. We got our six by six. We're gonna cut it down to five and a quarter. And then we're gonna keep this three quarter inch piece. We're gonna twist it, cut it to, now we've got our, um, landscape and our portrait piece two cards this one we have to pop back in and cut down at five and one eighth just hold on to this we are not gonna let this go to waste all right so we got that now we're gonna do for my cards early espresso card bases and since I have early espresso card bases I'm gonna line them with very vanilla I will have a project sheet for this for you guys so have all the measurements and everything Let's see if I can get those way up in the corner there. I don't want them gone, but I need some space. We're making two cards at once here. <laughs> Donna's got me overachieving and inspired. All right, so eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and five and one eighth. 
by three and seven eighths. So this measurement, all the measurements will be on the project sheet. No need to scramble now, but um, I'm gonna get some glue. We're gonna put in our liners and we're gonna wallpaper our landscape card. Rhonda says, I had to come here because I couldn't make comments on Facebook. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Amy says, nope, I have Diet Coke for breakfast. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see here. Let's see how Facebook is doing because I'm seeing the comments pretty good over there. That's good. All right. Let me catch up, catch up. Marcia's Oh, Marsha's here. Marsha says, hello from St. Louis, listening while I work. Oh, I'm glad you're here. We'll keep it down. <laughs> we'll try to keep it a secret. All right, so this one, simply going to line with vanilla. Stick around because there's a little surprise. But we're going to line with vanilla. And then we're going to wallpaper the front. That's what I call it when I use a big sheet of designer series paper. I say I'm wallpapering. And so we're going to wallpaper the front of our landscape card and we're going to not waste this little scrap we're gonna glue this to the vanilla liner for our portrait card and I'm gonna put it to the left side line it right up and then I'm gonna pop this in the card he says love the color combination I feel like it is kind of um, homey it's got a little bit, maybe even a little bit vintage homey look to it. And then when I pull in this ribbon with the awesome texture, it's kind of like, a, like an upholstery texture. They, they really are like warm, cozy, homey cards. This plaid, I love multicolor designer series papers. Frankly, I wish Stampin' Up! would give us a few more multicolor designer series papers. Um, we get a lot lately of white background with one color prints, and I know that that's probably less expensive to print. Um, these these full color, multicolor ones can be kind of expensive, but this is this is where it's at for me. Multicolor designer series paper. That's that's you guys. That's my bag. All right, now I'm not going to put this one on quite yet. Let's slide this aside for a minute, and I'm going to grab a die cut piece i did this ahead but i'll show you what i did because we got we got a lot of coffee to die cut so i did this one it's a strip of very vanilla and i cut it with that great big um, scallop it's a pierced scallop from the scallop contours dies so here it is we're going to glue our designer series paper to the scallop first then we're going to cut the scallop so it starts and stops even then we're going to glue it to our card so I'm going to put a little bead of glue down one side, one long side of our designer series paper, and I'm going to line it up so that it almost touches the piercing where the scallops dip in, and then so that it starts and stops at about the same place on the scallop. You see that? So we're going to have to trim both ends, but if you lined it up with the top then you'd have a full scallop at the top and a partial one at the bottom and that's just not how i roll so i'm gonna do that and then bring my trimmer in and trim the top and bottom deirdre says i agree i like the multicolor better too i just i don't i don't do well with white color backgrounds i feel like my images get lost so that is totally totally my my favorite here uh, Mary loves the plaid paper. Denise loves the color combination. Desi wants a Diet Coke now. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, and let's see here. Um, Deepa's here joining late, but I made it. Don't worry, Deepa. I took a few minutes at the beginning for some housekeeping, and I'll circle back to that and just at the end. We launched two new card classes today. Uh, PDF card classes so go check them out they're really awesome Stampin Up gave you a free stamp set you know the watercolor melon or the jungle pails or maybe you have something fun like the rhino ready bundle and you just haven't used it for a while because the jungle pails would be awesome with that so um, you got some you got some stamp sets or some bundles and you want some ideas what to do with them check out the the PDF card classes um, 
Deepa, you were at the retreat last night. What do you think of the card classes? If you liked them, tell everybody you liked them. If you didn't, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so we've got our little scallopy. It starts and stops at the same place on the scallop, which makes me very happy. And now we're gonna get this one on the card front. So here we are, we're doing, if you're just joining us, Donna Hickox two for one card. I totally cased her cards. She shared on the Craft, craft Social, a beautiful set of um, Christmas cards. And this two for one idea is irresistible. So now we've got it. We've got two cards from one six by six sheet of designer series paper. Now we get to have some fun with our new Latte Love bundle. So let's get these aside. Oh, I was showing you the new online exclusive products, but I didn't show you guys these. We're gonna use them. These are adhesive backed swirl dots. And they do, they have like, um, they look like um, the coffee art, you know, with the little swirls through. There's vanilla and Petal Pink and Pecan Pie in this pack. Really cool embellishments. We'll get to those soon. Right now, we got Stampin' to do. Let me get some uh, Early Espresso Ink and a Stampin' Pierce Mat. Um, Rhonda said, I totally forgot about it. Is there a re replay? Yes, there is. Um, it was sent out to VIP customers this morning. There is a, there is a link in an email that you should have this morning for a replay. Yep, anybody who is a VIP but couldn't make it yesterday, go check out the replay. It's in your email box this morning. Rhonda says, big cats would be good with those other kits too. Yes, I love what you've done with the big cats. All right, I've got Smoky Slate, and I'm going to stamp a spoon on the Smoky Slate. I need two, but I only have one die. So by the magic of television, I already have another spoon. I'm gonna do this little guy right there. Now, slide this one aside. I need this one to be a little bit bigger to do some die cutting. So I'm going to trim them all down because we're gonna try and get this up through the machine. We're making two cards. We got a lot of images. But the nice part is, is like the beans, this this bean bundle, this bundle of beans, this, this beans, these, there's two, and then this, not bundle of beans, this little lone bean, the, the bean by itself, there's three of those dies. So I'm gonna take advantage and cut because these make the best embellishments. All right, so that's my beans on pecan pie. And then I'm gonna stamp my mug. I've got a side view and a top view. I'm gonna stamp one of each. Oh dear, I just stuck my finger in the ink pad. <sighs> Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie says, I'm late, darn work. <laughs> thumbs up and shared. Thank you for the thumbs up and the share. That makes a big difference. Keep the comments coming. If you feel thumbs up about something, do it. Get the wow face, the thumbs up, the hearts. Keep those coming because that tells our platform, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, that this is engaging content. I really appreciate when you guys do that. Um, and when you share, that's the best comment compliment that you can pay me so thank you for sharing the video too that really is how we're growing I, as you the people you know find me that's how we're growing and we're so grateful for that all right Rhonda it always goes back to this breakfast for Rhonda was two egg omelet with chopped zucchini red bell pepper spinach pinch of cheese to stick it closed Mmm, I'm hungry. Omelet would go good with my coffee. <laughs> oh, let me put this over here. I almost forgot this guy. We need some coffee for inside this mug. So I'm gonna do that on this little pecan pie piece right at the bottom. And then what else do we need to stamp? We need to stamp some greetings. I have this banner and this banner, and I have a two and three eighths inch circle. Two and three eighths inch circle is punched. Love this punch. And then the banners are from 
stylish shapes. There are these two skinny guys. All right, let us see here. All right, I need my sentiments. One, two, three. I'm gonna do thanks so much all the way to the left of the long banner. Let's see if I can get it without putting my head under the camera. I'm not wearing my beanie today, but I do have my coat on, Nancy. <laughs> then I've got this one's on me. We're gonna stamp this one all the way to the right of the banner. And then I have, you're the best part of my day. That is a perfect sentiment to send a card to coffee. You're the best part of my day. I've been drinking like four cups of coffee these days. Okay, there is our greeting. All right, so we've got all of our greetings. I think we might be done with our stamping. Now we get to die cut, lots of die cutting to do. Let me switch to the stamp and cut emboss machine. Oh dear. Nancy says, how come when I say by the magic of television, pre-cut dies don't show up for me? Nancy says, ha, ha, ha. that's the best comment ever. I wish it would work on my work too. I wish it would work on my work. <laughs> hey, Kathleen. Oh, let's see. I'm going to, I think it's going to take me two passes on the machine to get all this done. So let's get cranking. I've got, um, <laughs> you guys, you VIPs probably know what I just did. I stood up, stood up, stepped on my microphone and pulled it off my shirt. I have really got to get myself one without a cord. I'm old school. Like when I got a microphone, it was smart to plug it in so that you didn't lose your audio file like halfway through because the Bluetooth went out, right? Now that things are so much more advanced, I need to stop it because I'm tangling myself up on the microphone cord. All right, I did these so that I could fit them and fit as many as I could at one time. We've got smoky slates and we need to cut the two pieces for our carafe and for our French press. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but our French press is going to have to go this way. So I'm not going to save a lot of space there. I can just push that out the back. All right. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to take a little bit to line these guys up and we can chit chat. Veronica says, what about coffee art? Does that need to be stamped? It does, but I'm going to use my Stamparatus so it turns out nice and dark. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab that little guy. It's like when you're doing a black um, silhouette and if it doesn't get dark and solid enough, then you say, oh dear, I uh, got another chance at it then. So I'm gonna pull in my Stamparatus for that one. Good eye. <laughs> you should be my editor. That was really good. Um, Bonnie says, I don't even like to drink coffee. However, this bundle is so cute, I may have to give it. Uh, I have several friends friends that drink coffee and could send them out. See, that's how you can enjoy coffee <laughs> in, in paper form and brightening others' days. Um, I think that this mug that I'm putting the die for right now, especially with the little fill-in that it has, it's pretty, it's, it's not real coffee art. It's kind of just got a little highlights in it. Um, I think that that one could very easily be tea or cocoa. So I do think that there is some versatility in this too. I'm going to, we've had a series of useful boxes for common, easy to find treats on the Kitchen Table Stamper blog. And one of the things we did was a really neat um, box for hot cocoa. And so I am going to definitely do that box again with this suite. I actually am probably gonna do it to match the card club for cool people because this this will very likely be the card club for cool people 
in May. Now, Card Club for Cool People People, we're going to do the terrific tools in April. And as long as the um, Stampin' Up! inventory management of this pro product is smooth so that I can get the supplies I need, then this will be our April, no, our May card club. Um, won't look anything like this though. That class is already designed. And this is, a, this is very different. This is not a warm up for that one. Maybe I'll give you a flash of that, but it's so far away. May card club is pretty far away, but it'll show you the versatility of the paper. You won't believe how different the card club cards look. Bonnie says, love me some hot cocoa, yummy. Me too, oh my goodness. My husband makes me one sometimes with um, processed, Dutch processed cocoa. We've got the really awesome cocoa. And he makes it completely from scratch with heavy whipping cream and then whipped cream on top. Oh my goodness. I am definitely, I have, a, I have a soft spot for hot cocoa, but I am a coffee drinker too. Lately, I've told, I, I tell my friends, you know, that, that helped me out here. I think I'm running on coffee and anger these days. <laughs> I don't know. And I laugh. It's probably hard to believe that, but you know. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of lemon lolly. And for the little coffee cups, I love that these have the handles both ways, but because I need three of them, I already did one. And I think that's about all I can fit on there. So we're gonna give this a crank, make sure everybody's on board, and then we're gonna have to run a second with our vellum and our early espresso card stock. We'll give that a little, a little crank. Um, Rhonda Sadabani, coffee, the coffee set is always good for making cards for others, even if you don't like coffee. It's fairly ubiquitous. Yeah, there's a lot of people like me whose whole lives run on coffee. Um, I have a magnet on the refrigerator that says, I like coffee and maybe three other people. And <laughs> I have a, a art in the, in the living room next to the front door that says, um, coffee and Jesus. Uh, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people, uh, uh, their lives run on coffee. So you'll, you'll be able to find somebody to make a card for, and then you can enjoy the process. All right. There's our pieces for our carafe and our French press. We've got a spoon. Isn't that spoon cute? Okay. Hands up if the spoon is your favorite part of this of this stamp set i don't know why it thrills me so much it just does i like the little beans too uh, nancy says you have the best husband can i send mine over for some lessons right i should open up husband training because he is the best he really is you're you're right i can't even i can't even think of one thing that i would say mm -mm. nope love that guy Oh, guess what I forgot? I forgot to put the lid for my carafe on the pecan pie. So we're gonna have to, I'll just give this a trim and we'll send that piece through with our vellum and our uh, early espresso. Look at the beans. The beans just make me happy. The beans really do make me happy. It's like happy juice. That's what they make. Those beans make happy juice. <laughs> All right, this guy is ready to reload. Let me get this out of here so it doesn't ruin anything. And we're going to now do the coffee part for our carafe, which is going to be early espresso cardstock. We did the handle and the frame. This is the coffee for our carafe. This is the coffee for our um, French press. And this is the coffee for our little lemon lolly cup. I'm gonna pop this guy right here because I forgot the lid for our carafe. That's this. And then I have a bit of vellum here and this is our last pass. Now remember, we're making two cards here and we're chatting and having fun. <laughs> Tanya says, it's my and my hobby's 43rd anniversary today. 43 years, well done. 
Well done, you two. That's awesome. Happy, happy anniversary. You've got the best husband, too, that if you, if you kept him for 43 years. <laughs> All right, let me give this guy a crank. We're going to roll it. Oh, dear. Rhonda says, it. have you seen my t-shirt? It says, I like people, like I like me, my tea in a bag underwater. <laughs> and Mamie says, I need that t-shirt too. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, I think I have seen that shirt, Rhonda. It is very you. Pattyweed says, I don't drink coffee either, but I need this for my husband and many others. Yep, there is, it, we, are, we are ride or die. Coffee people are ride or die people. And they totally want your coffee cards. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Our two vellum pieces. That's kind of the glass of our two devices. And then I'm trying to drop all these dies right on a magnet so I don't lose them. We talked about, we talked about lost dies last night. So lost dies really can spoil the party. So let me just drop those on the magnet. And now here is the coffee part. We're going to build those two different um, coffee apparatus. And then I'll get my cards back in here. So if you're just joining me, you can see what we're making. We are doing Donna Hickox two for one card today, you guys. So we started out with one six by six sheet of designer series paper. And now we've gotten this far. Let me show you where we're at. We've got our landscape card all wallpapered with this awesome latte love or a this paper is a little latte. The stamps and dies are latte love. And then we took the two inch piece and we've applied it to our portrait. We're making two cards at once here. Totally inspired by Donna's Christmas cards that are pinned to the featured on the craft social. So check that out. Leave Donna some love for her inspiration. And if you make her two for one card, maybe add a comment with a picture so that she can see that you've inspired her. I'm gonna do this with my beans cause they're just too cute to lose and it's gonna make putting these beans on the project super easy. So we'll start right there. There's our beans. And then I'm going to grab some liquid glue and we're going to apply the coffee to our little cup so I don't lose it. Rhonda said, when I first saw these coffee cups, I thought it was made from the watermelon stamp. Oh, good news is, is you don't have to work that hard. <laughs> nope, this is it. This is the, it's a new bundle, bundle called Latte Love. I think you could probably make some coffee mugs out of that watermelon stamp, but I don't want to work that hard. How about you guys? <laughs> Bonnie says, I love these cards. They're cute. I love them. All right, we're going to do one more. This is the coffee for inside our mug. And then we'll set this one aside. I'm trying to glue down the little pieces before they get stuck to my sleeve. I'm wearing my coat because I'm cold and having a little bit bulkier sleeves, I'm kind of afraid for myself. All right, so there's our mugs there. Now this one is going to be liquid glue on the coffee and set it right in so that you've got kind of an even right, left, and bottom. So it's on the outside of the vellum. And then the back of this guy right here, I don't wanna use the sheets because I don't want the whole thing to be sticky. I just want this little frame right here, this little rectangle, and then a bit at the top of the lid. So very, very little glue. And then we're gonna line that up so that the lid is just at the very edge and the handle makes contact on the side. And so once you've got that lined up, I also like that my liquid glue gives me a second to slide. There's our French press. You guys, look at that. That is pretty cool. All right, let's slide that guy aside or we'll just throw him. <laughs> Maybe he says, love the spoon, the little cups, the mugs. 
And Bonnie says, great tip adding your beans to the glue dots, right? Otherwise, I'd knock them all over the floor with my extra sleeves today. <laughs> I'm freezing. All right, coffee. This one's gonna go just a little bit lower. This bottom margin's gotta be a little bit smaller because then when we add on this collar to put the handle, it doesn't go over the top edge of our coffee. I wanna see both of those things, not one on top of the other. There's our little collar. Then I'll take the lid and at the very edge, I'm barely squeezing the bottle of glue. I'm barely putting any glue. You don't need a lot. Dot, dot, don't need a lot. That's what the kids used to say in preschool when I would hang out with Gideon in the preschool. Oh, see, that's what happens. When you don't dot, dot, when you use too much, <laughs> it gets glued to your finger. All right, here we go. Take two. Can't edit live video. That's all there is to that. And there's our little craft, like Mr. Coffee. Love. All right, then you guys know I'm missing the coffee art, so let me show you. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna use my Stamparatus. I am very sorry that there isn't one anymore. Um, it really is the best. I just keep on keeping it. There are other platforms out there. Um, check them out if you guys love one particularly well. I'd like to know. I've thought about buying a new one, something that is, um, a tool that you can get your hands on uh, but I do love this tool so I'm just gonna real quickly do the coffee art with my Stamparatus because I'm doing it on pecan pie and I want really good contrast I want the pecan pie art and really dark espresso coffee and so if I don't get it the first time or with the first coat I can go back and add a second coat of ink and that's why the Stamparatus for this one all right let me get my early espresso again latte love I'm gonna pop this under because it'll hold my lid while I ink you guys have a stamp positioner that's currently on the market that you love something that I should maybe think about buying or trying all right let me ink this guy up right here and I'm doing both of them at one time because like I said to you guys this is going to be the either the card club for May as long as Stampin' Up! has got good supply of everything um, being that it's an online exclusive we're just going to play that one by ear and um, it will be a PDF if somehow Stampin' Up! doesn't keep carrying or doesn't get enough supply of the papers and everything. So I'm making a lot of stuff with this right now. And I did also let the cat out of the bag that I'm going to make a cocoa box with it. So um, see, I just want them darker than that. So I'm just making both of them at one time. No fuss that way. And I have a spare one that I can use on another project. And that is okay by me. If I'm doing the effort, I might as well get two for one, right? Hey, Becky, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Nancy says, I wonder and the kids today even know what a coffee pot is, right? With all the, the um, single serve, like the K-cups and the Keurig machines and stuff. Yep, I wonder. Especially one that looks like that. It does have a little vintage feel to it, doesn't it? Little 70s even. Um, Jackie says stamp the Stamparatus was the first stamp positioner that worked for me right it is a good one all right so I got two really nice now the, I showed you guys earlier the die that cuts out the coffee art on the designer series paper works for this but I'm not gonna use that die um, I can't it was I was having a little trouble lining it up and getting equal all around my coffee art they were kind of coming off, like off center and so I just went to my drawer grabbed my one and three eighth inch circle punch so if you've got one of those this is Stampin' Up's retired one and three eighth inch circle punch this is the way to go um, Veronica says Misty is my favorite aside from the Stampin' Up one and 
Veronica says, I like that they have different size and accessories for it. Um, and Nancy says she'll never stop using her Stamparatus. I have had seen people kind of unload it right away and sell it off. I will never stop using mine either. It really is uh, such a good tool. But sometimes I feel bad that I can't, because I haven't tried anything else, I can't um, in good conscience recommend another one because I've never used any other one. So that's, that's good to know. It's good to know that you like the Misty, Veronica. Let's see here. I want to switch this so we can talk over here. Carla says, sorry I'm late. I couldn't hook up on Facebook. I found you on YouTube. I'm glad you found me. <laughs> we are doing two for one card today. These are Donna Hickok's two for one card. So if you're a member in the Craft Social, check out the Craft Social. Pinned to the top is Donna's card, uh, Christmas cards that inspired this. Leave her some love. And I'm going to... Um, assemble my little coffee here. Now here's a little tip. I learned this the hard way when I just glue some art in there and then I wanted the handle to go a different way and then my coffee art was upside down. I guess there's no such thing as upside down, right? It's just, but I'm gonna put the handle where I want the handle and then I'm gonna put the coffee art where I want the coffee art, see? So just a little, it's like using the builder punches. If you just take a minute and um, plan your, your, um, I don't know, plan, then you save yourself a lot of headache. All right, which one are we going to do first? Let's grab this guy because this guy's got a fun surprise inside. So we're going to just hold on to that one for a minute. For both cards, I did that two and three um, eighths circle punch. So I have another one here for our other card. And then I did this die cutting from Pecan Pie. This is the second from the largest of the, let me show you this, swoopy circles from the Thoughtful Expressions dies. Eventually I'll get some measurements on there so we'll have some approximate measurements, but we haven't done that yet. And then last thing, I have this largest irregular hexagon from the Nested Essentials dies. This one is Early Espresso. All right, so that's my die cutting. Let me set this one aside to go with our landscape one and this and this. Now we're gonna take our circle greeting and we're gonna stack it right on our pecan pie swoopy circle. Now I want the big because it's like a big scallop, a little scallop, a big scallop. I want those big scallops at north, south, east, and west. And then we got to add our greeting so that it reads level in that orientation. And then we can put this on the card. Carla still uses her Stamparatus too, right? I'll never get rid of it. It really is a great tool. What size punch did you use for the coffee art again? Um, this one is one and three eighths. It's perfect, isn't it? Good tip right there. I was getting them and they were just, they looked, they were off off center and they just looked funny. So um, I said, hmm, there's gotta be a better way. So then I got my die chart and I lined it up on some of the dies that I had. I'm like, okay, it's bigger than, it's bigger than one and a quarter and smaller than one and a half. Let's go see what kind of punch I have. <laughs> there's our, you're the best part of my day. And then this little guy is next. We're gonna put adhesive behind the coffee, little bit maybe behind the frame, a little bit on the lid, a little bit on the handle, not a lot. Then we'll add that guy next to the greeting. Maybe a little bit lower, there we go. And then our coffee art coffee. That one's gonna go on flat also. Since I knew we were making two cards today, I did get ahead just a little bit. Got some um, dimensional on my spoon and I've got my ribbon already folded and tied up. So I showed you guys this one earlier. Love this texture. You guys, this right here is like a home run 
um, think outside the suite. This is not the ribbon that Stampin' Up! introduced with this suite, but I think it is just so perfect. All right, so we're gonna stick that one down and a little, I want a big dimensional. Here's a big dimensional, one big dimensional. We're gonna pop that on the back of our little yellow cup. Oh, this lemon lolly cup, just so fun. It just brings the smile. And then I've got dimensional already on the back of my spoon. I'm going to kind of place my spoon. I haven't burnished it down. I want to make sure that I like where the cup sits. I'm going to bring the spoon just a little bit up at a different angle. Very happy. And then we've got our beans. See how they didn't get lost over here? We're going to put one here and then one bunch of beans right here to just finish off the inside. Now my favorite part, oh no, it's not my favorite part of the suite. Everything is my favorite part of the suite. Who am I kidding? This is the adhesive backed swirl dots and I used the petal pink one. So I think I'm gonna use the pecan pie this time and I'm gonna put a lot of them. Why? Because I like them. Because crafty girls do what they want. And so I've got two, and then I'm gonna put one over here, and then I'm gonna put two up here. I don't know, I like them, so I'm putting them. And then even more, because we gotta have some paper embellishments too. I got some more beans. And I'm going to just sprinkle a couple right here. I don't know, just had to. The beans, the spoon, the little tiny cups makes me so happy. So there is card number one of Donna's two for one card. All right, now the two for one card. So let's get our landscape guy in here. And we're going to glue down some layers. I lost my glue. Here we go. And let us liquid glue here. I'm gonna zip a little bit around. And we're gonna center this one before we add our circles. We're going to put some ribbon. So I'm just gonna put these together. We don't have to be as careful here. Just center is good enough. And then I did the same thing with my ribbon. I doubled it, tied it with some linen thread, and I'm gonna adhere it across this hexagon with some tear and tape that I've already got stuck on there. Hee <laughs> hee, love this, love this card. All right, there's our ribbon. Then we can grab more liquid glue. We're gonna go kind of thick here so we can catch that ribbon. I want the big scallop north and south again. And we're going to give that a second to catch. Denise says, such a cute card. Well, thank you. Hey, Judy, I'm glad you're here. Kathy says, love it. Thank you. All right. So this is uh, our two for one card. It's inspired by Donna Hickox. She shared the original two for one in the craft social. It's pinned to the featured. Go leave her some love if you like mine. Go leave, go leave our friend Donna some love. I'm going to get some liquid glue again for both my mug and for my carafe. We're gonna hide the glue a little bit on the lid, a little bit behind the coffee and a little bit at the collar. And we'll add these guys. This one's gonna go kind of up against our ribbon a little bit here and tip. And then this guy's gonna kind of tip the other way, but I'm not gonna squish it down yet because remember, thanks so much. And this one's on me. Don't worry, there's a surprise inside. We're going to put thanks so much and it can go just a little bit under the bottom edge of the cup there. Make sure it's level. And now we can press those down 
Everybody here is all ready with dimensionals. I'm going to peel those off. Nancy um, says, I bought the Misty before Stampin' Out came up, came out with theirs. Not the best. I saw a YouTube video where someone made one out of Legos. You wonder if the inventor made her <laughs> remove it or sued her too. <laughs> I've never seen one made out of Legos. That's hysterical. Oh, goodness. I'll have to see if I can find that video. Oh, mm, my goodness. Um, Tina says, putting tear and tape better than glue when putting on ribbon. It really depends on the ribbon. Usually, tear and tape will keep it from getting crispy or um, the ribbon so or the glue soaking through. This glue doesn't dry crispy, so it does work for ribbon. You just have to be careful because if it soaks through, it makes your ribbon either look shiny sometimes. Um, this one I wouldn't use it on because the the weave of this ribbon, you can see it's got kind of a big fiber and it's kind of loose. It reminds me of like upholstery fabric. It reminds me of maybe tweed. Um, it's definitely got a, a grid and this glue would soak right through. So the um, tear and tape keeps everything stuck without any mess oozing through. All right, let me trim the tails of my ribbon because it's bothering me that they're hanging off the card so far. I don't want them to get all frayed when it goes into the envelope. So we'll give that a little trim. And then we're gonna pop inside. So you saw that we had the vanilla liner. I did grab another piece of this designer series paper. This is two by five and one eight. I'm going to pop a hole, or not a hole, a semicircle. It's in there maybe a quarter or a third of the way. And I'm still using that two and three eighth inch circle. So now we've got a little thumb notch. We're gonna add a glue on the sides and bottom, just a skinny little line of glue. We're going to pop that in right along the bottom of our liner and burnish. Got a little bit of glue clean up there. There it is. Now we've got the perfect little pocket for a gift card. Let me show you. This one has the gift card in it. So here is our little gift card pocket. We're gonna do this one's on me. That little tag goes inside. We got our beans on our glue dots. So it says my hubby just took the little one so I may actually be able to watch the ending without interruptions. Whoop, whoop. Tony says, I absolutely love these cards. Love the sweet. I'm so excited to see different elements being used. I think I used them all. You know what? I didn't use the, I didn't use, oh, I didn't use all of them because I have other cards that I made. I didn't use this one at all. I made a whole stamp stack and I did use the splat and the cup. So I, yeah, not on this project. I almost used them all on this project, but we did make two cards, you guys. That was pretty quick, right? Two cards, pretty quick. Let's embellish this second one with those um, little bean on the knot. And we're gonna get those swirl, adhesive back swirls. I'm gonna do the petal pink one on this one. So what do you guys think? Donna's pretty brilliant, isn't she? Let's get these guys back in here. Um, let me go over here one more time. I'm gonna show you guys my screen because I'd love you to go and leave some love for Donna. I gotta get my embellishments on though too. Hang on. But I wanna show you where, but I closed that tab so I gotta reopen it. <laughs> Bonnie says another awesome card. Hey, thanks, couldn't have done it without our friend Donna. If you guys try this two for one idea, please share in the Craft Social. The craft Social is your place 
to um, hang out with crafty people, share what you made. There are a few rules. Please don't link away from the craft social. Uh, please don't promote yourself or any other Stampin' Up! demonstrator or stamp company. Um, use primarily Stampin' Up! supplies and no buy sell trade. Okay, if you guys can do that, then we want you at the craft social. Um, there's our petal pink. And here's pecan pie. And here's that vanilla color all on the same card. Pretty awesome. Let me flip over to here again. Yep, that's what I want you to see. I'm getting good at that too. I'm checking to see if that's what I want you to see before I go over there. So this is Donna's cards right here in the featured section. She is the inspiration today. And so if you will go over, you can leave her a comment, leave her some love. Maybe add a picture of your cards here if you try this. And thank you, Donna, so much for sharing. We just really appreciate you. And we appreciate all those that share on the craft social. If you want to check out our new PDF classes, that's pinned right up at the top here too. We've got our water watercolor melon card class. You can click right over. It's $9.99 for the printable PDF and it includes Wonder Recipe number 26. It's the only place you can get that one right now. Um, we also have the Jungle Pals. So if you've got some PDF or if you've got some stamp sets during celebration and you want to ideas what to do with them, come and check out the PDF store and um, pick up your watercolor your watercolor melon and jungle pals stamp a stack you don't have to use the watercolor melon with this you can use any fruit you have you don't have to use the jungle pals you can use any animals you have if you want to find all of our pdf classes you just use the side menu here pdf store and that'll show you all the awesome stamp a stack card classes we have by pdf and then here's our jungle pals check that one out um, those are available now, not just for VIPs now. You can pick those up in the store. And let's see here. Don't forget to come by the Craft Social and play our weekly challenge. We have a challenge every week on Thursday, and this week it is Connect Four, and that's right up here in the featured bar. Also, we want to see your projects made with our connect for as inspiration so there is our bit of housekeeping our awesome cards i'm going to go back to these guys and let's get this in here we got to get the there's design one design two two cards one live thank you donna you guys i hope that you love the cards hope that you're starting to see a latte love and the or a, a little latte and latte love through my eyes. I'm head over heels. I live on coffee. <laughs> there is, there's our set. Tina says, have an amazing weekend, everybody. Right? TGIF. <laughs> Mimi says, I love how you throw shapes and other things together to make unique the sweets. Well, thank you. The other thing I did was just grab a ribbon that I liked better, too. You know, sometimes outside the suite is just best, right? Um, Don says really cute cards. And Bonnie said another awesome card. How'd you guys like the two for one? What do you think of that idea? Give me some feedback. <laughs> I'm so glad that you spent some time with me today. It's the best part of my week. I really do love getting this opportunity to craft with you and interact with you. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up and the comments and for sharing with your friends. <laughs> Kathy says, I need to play with this set this afternoon. Love the cards. Yay! Jan says, love the idea. Denise likes it too. Yes! Okay, so the two for one was a, was a hit. <laughs> Diva says, always love two for one. Margie says these are cute. Thank you, Margie. I hope you're doing okay, my sweet friend. Lots of love and, and, and hugs and prayers going your way. I saw your news on Facebook and I love you. And I hope you're doing 
Um, I hope you're doing well. Desi says, so many coffees. Perfect timing for the live. Lunch is over. Time to get another student. Bye, Mom. Bye, Des. I love you. <laughs> Deepa says, similar effort and more fun to show for it, right? I'm telling you. I was scrolling the craft social and I went, I had seen Donna's cards, but then saw it just kind of in a new light. I'm like, I'm doing that. So thank you, Donna. I hope that will uh, catch you on the replay or um, I don't know, say something on the craft social if you see it. <laughs> you guys are the best. You that share it in the craft social, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your kindness to each other and for building an awesome community. You guys make it a special place. All right, go get your PDF classes. You definitely want to know what to do with that watermelon stamp set that Stampin' Up! gave you for free. If you like the two-for-one, you'll love Wonder Recipe number 26. And if you like the two-for-one, I think you will absolutely adore our Jungle Pals stamp a stack too. Um, the watercolor melon makes six cards and the Jungle Pals makes eight. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Um, I should have a Facebook Live-ish on Friday. I will be in, um, in Houston at, on stage, but I do have a little something up my sleeve. So um, have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you for your time and for all the ways that you um, interact with me. It really is awesome. Best part of my week. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye, guys.